Welcome back to ThoddleTube and if you are new here, feel free to pull up a chair and join us because in this video, we're going to be attempting to wrap my Gen 3 Yamaha MT-09 and fingers crossed we don't run into too many hiccups because as I found out the other day, vinyl wrap is super, super expensive. But the first thing to do before we start wrapping is actually a day in advance and we need to give the bike a good thorough clean. That way there's no debris left on the bike because any water will not let the uh, wrap stick very well and we are using super expensive 3M2080 wrap and I do not want to mess this up if I can help it. Anyway, let's not waste any time and I think my best plan of action as well whilst I wash it is to take off any parts that I think will make it easier to wrap. So if I do that tonight, that way when I come down tomorrow everything will just be ready. I won't have to stress about that and I can just worry about wrapping the bike. Yeah, boy. I think that's going to be pretty much it for today. As you can see, I've taken off the front guard. The only thing left is I'm going to take these little winglet things off here. I'm going to do those and then pretty much be ready for tomorrow. I might put a tiny bit of degreaser on where the tank grips came off because they come off pretty easy. As you can see from AliExpress, not bad at all. They are still very, very sticky, but I'm going to remove all that and stick on some new 3M stuff tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and we'll get the wrap underway. So last night we got two. I've obviously stripped the bike down a bit. I've taken a seat off. I've decided to wrap the tank on the bike. I think that's going to be the best bet. So we took the air intake off. We took the whole front assembly off because it's all kind of attached together, but that's easy enough to get off. But I just wanted to get to the side strips. But to do that, you have to take this off. And we took off the mud guard down here because I'm deciding I'm going to wrap a bit or not. Probably not, but it was just good to get in there and give it a clean and clean the mud guard. So first thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to get the alcohol rub and give this a rub down. I don't think this is from the tank pad. This is actually from the seat that's rubbing the paint, which is a great design by Yamaha. But anyway, that's no issue. Not to sound too cocky, I know it's early days, but check this out. Can you see that in the light? That came out pretty damn mint. No, I'm very happy, it does look very cool. Hopefully the other parts aren't so difficult, but what do I know, we'll find out as we go. I think this is gonna be a big pain in my ass, but we'll find out. Now for the difficult part, I'm gonna attempt to attack this thing. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in one piece or separate it. I think I might do it in pieces actually. That'll be a lot easier. Yep, we're gonna go with pieces. Let's see how we get on with this. Good morning, welcome back. We're actually six days ahead of where we left off last time and that's only because I accidentally cut a bit of the film wrong. So I thought why not practice with some to see how it goes rather than cut some new stuff and then wreck two parts. I've definitely got my head around the fact that I'm gonna need to use a lot more heat. So that's gonna be the game plan today. Hopefully next time I see you, we have a wrapped bike. Right guys, for a little update, this side is pretty mint. I'm quite
quite happy I've got pretty much no bubbles. All of these will come out. I'm going to leave this till last. I'm going to pull the edges down. I've got to the tank. I'm going to cut the tank out now and then sit that in. That way at least I won't get the fumes coming up and hopefully don't explode this whole damn room with the heat gun. And then I'm going to start pulling this side down and fingers crossed uh, we're good. The only thing that's going to be a bit tricky, I think, because this is how the tank goes down here and the seat goes here. So I'm going to try and pull it as far over and cut around here. And I think I'm going to go under this rim and tuck it under. See how we get with that. But yeah, so far so good. That's where we're at. I'll keep cracking on. But I've just kind of figured out that heat and dragging it one way, let it stick and drag it the other way and then the other way and the other way and the other way. Kind of like a zigzag motion, kind of pulls it that way, then that way, which gets rid of the uh, these guys. But anyway, fingers crossed we don't mess this up. I'll check in with you guys as we go. Right, gas tank is back on. That's good for me because at least I don't have to worry about the fumes and the heat gun. This is an awesome seamless edge as you can see. Very, very happy. This is going to look mint so long as I don't screw this up. So let's get onto this and figure out how we're going to go with the tank grips because... I'll just place that there. That's the first time I've kind of seen it. That's going to look epic. Very, very happy. And hopefully by today we should be getting our delivery that I've ordered for the stickers and the gas tank, gas tank, gas tank cover. I've got a carbon fibery look thing covering this, so it should all be kind of black camo looky thing. So final update before we cut the excess off and then put the trim back on. But this is what we got to so far. Any lumps and bumps are super minimal, which I'm very happy with. All this I'll cut back down here. The seat will cover most of this. But other than that, it's pretty damn good. Obviously, the corners are super stretched. They're going to have to be because of the nature of this tank. But all this will get cut back, and then my trim should sit back here so you won't even see it. And then down on the corners, right down here, I've gone right into the tank line, as you can see, and I'm going to cut this off and tuck it under. So hopefully we can get this bit done without causing any problems because this will be a big waste of time otherwise. And the last thing I can show you guys is how this beauty came out. Right, here we are at the pretty much last stage before I show you guys the bike. I'm just reusing these uh, tank pads or tank grips because I like them because they have the Yamaha MT logo. I've had them for a while. And I'm simply just using this 3M indoor outdoor, super strong double-sided adhesive. And obviously I'm just putting it on as you can see and cutting it to size with a knife. So if any of you guys are looking to reuse your tank pads, that's how you do it. So as you can see, nothing too fancy, but it does the job and you won't even see it from the front. So let's go stick it on the bike and I'll show you guys exactly how it all came out. So there you go in all of its glory. That is the finished product for now. But overall it came out pretty damn good. I'm surprised at myself. Of course it's not perfect, but it was never gonna be doing it at home. Hope you guys like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.